Hey guys, this is Shreyas and welcome back to Tech That Out. Today, I'm going to bring you a video about upcoming Android version that is Android 12. And I've got the Android developer previews installed on my phone, my Pixel 4a to be precise. By the way, I just posted a long term review of the same. So if you're still in two minds to buy this or have your eyes open for the Pixel 5a, go check that out. It should pop up in a card above right now or link down below. Now, I did install the developer preview one as well. Today, I'll be covering developer preview two. I'll try to briefly cover all the features that were present in developer preview 1. Now unfortunately a few features have not been carried over to developer preview 2 and that's why you might see some conflicts but I'll try to mention it if I remember correctly. Now by the way I am partnering with Gadget Shield so if you're looking for skins for your phone Gadget Shields is a great place to get it and not just that now you can avail a 10% discount when you use my personalized coupon code TTO10. So definitely check out Gadget Shields in the link down below in the description and do not forget to use the coupon code TTO10. Alright before we move on guys why don't you drop a like hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you are updated about Android 12 and all the previews and betas coming up. Now with that said this is Shreyas and let's take that out. Cool, so I'll just glance over the highlights of the developer preview 1 which was released on Android 12 for my Pixel 4a. Few features had to be enabled via ADB commands which I am not uh, covering in this because most people won't be. By the way, if you want me to cover a dedicated video on how I installed and sideloaded the Android 12 developer previews on my Pixel 4a or other Pixels which will be getting the update, make sure to drop a comment down below then I'll make a dedicated video on the same and hopefully it will help you guys out. Now let's just quickly glance over the developer preview 1 highlights. Now the first thing were scrolling screenshots. Unfortunately, it is not available in uh, developer preview 2. Now the next thing I saw was the setting menu redesign. Your account details come up on the top right corner. There is a different stylized search bar for this. Another nifty feature I feel is Wi-Fi sharing. Now we already had on Android 12 uh, sharing of Wi-Fi passwords via QR codes. Now this has gone to another step where nearby share is being inculcated into this. So via nearby share now you can share the your Wi-Fi passwords and that removes the hassle of using a QR code as well. So I really like this feature to be honest. Now the next one is kind of around accessibility settings. Now you have multiple accessibility settings and you can quickly get to them by swiping up from the home bar with two fingers. Now for developer preview 2, here are the things I mostly observed. Now the biggest feature I felt was the one handed mode. Now you could activate this uh, by swiping down from the home bar and it is actually almost like a reachability uh, ripoff from iOS. This literally cuts down the screen in half and brings down the content to the lower part of the half. And you can get out of this mode by tapping in the blank portion of the screen or just swiping up from home. You do get options of timing it out if you want. And if and in certain other scenarios like changing the app or restarting your phone. So I think it's a nifty feature and for especially big phones, Apart from skins adopting to it, introducing this into stock Android is really a good move in my opinion as well. Now the next thing is picture in picture mode. Picture in picture mode was already very good to begin with. Now what I'm going to say is applicable for all types of picture in picture mode. I have tried primarily with YouTube but you can do the same via the navigation PIP, uh, be it Netflix, uh, Amazon Prime Video, etc. So the main thing is that now obviously you can move it around and you can park it to the side like in iOS if I'm correct and just drag it back if you want it to be back. Previously you could press the headphone icon to make it just run on the background you can precisely change the size of the picture in picture mode by pinching in to zoom. You can still drag from the corners and try to expand or reduce the size of it. But I think pinch to zoom is a pretty nice way because you usually use it for other functions like pictures and other functionalities. The next thing is the widgets listings. Now previously we had a preview of all the widgets when we went into the widget section but now it's listed according to the apps or categories. Once you click that app or category you get the list of all 
all relevant widgets and how they look. Obviously, the dragging and dropping them onto the home screen remains the same, but the listing kind of has changed in the developer preview too. The next thing is media UI. Now I'm talking about the music player which pops up into the notification widget when you have background music playing on any app. Previously it was going to change with the album art and I thought it was pretty neat and nice but now unfortunately it's going to be fixed and it's going to be fixed as per the theme accent color you choose in your styling options in the custom theming options you have in the pixels. So the next most disappointing change according to me was removal of the true dark mode and by that I need amulet blacks which turns off pixels and saves battery and is obviously looks better to me personally but yeah it's not there anymore right now previously it was there in most of the menus now it's not there the good news is that now it's more cohesive with the google apps like if you have the google app play store and other google apps they have a certain gray this is kind of matching in with that and making it more cohesive but i would have preferred the apps and their ui getting changed rather than the whole ui of android 12 getting changed by removing the true dark mode all right now this is a nifty feature for people who are making videos and camera comparisons on youtube you can finally take the camera into multitasking mode so you can split the screen and turn the camera into multitasking the aspect ratio is absolutely horrible but if you get a hang of it you can keep a preview of the picture you took and try to replicate it while taking the same picture from another uh, phone or a lens and i think it could be handy in certain scenarios but yeah not the most perfect feature out there the next thing is the look on the lock screen you can see the enter button has kind of adopted the line icon kind of aesthetic and does not have an ugly circle around it also the emergency call button has a pill around it and is highlighted separately so yeah kind of makes it more cohesive and important elements stand out so yeah, that's about it with the Pixel 4a and the Android 12 developer preview. This is the second developer preview. I think there is another one in the pipeline which should come out next month. Let me know if you like this video. So with that, this is Shreyas and thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.